Hey and welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing and this is Marcia's Summer Box. The theme is music for this box and I believe it's in collaboration with Haley Blaze, who is a musician and the art was done by Aaron Lewis. I think I'm saying that correctly. I'll have everyone linked below. I'm reading it off of Marcia's little post she had. I just have the regular subscription box. I don't have the VIM. So I thought I'd show you guys what's inside. First, I need to open it. Alrighty. So first opening up, we have some blue tissue paper. And then below it is all the products we get in this month's box. I'm just gonna pull the products out one by one and go through them. So first thing in the box, we have the Cake Beauty Heavy Cream, which is an intensive hand repair balm. This sample comes with one fluid ounce, and regularly on Amazon, you get two fluid ounces for $8.70. Some details about this product are formulated with shea butter, aloe vera, coconut oil, and green tea extract to soothe, smooth, and hydrate dry hands and cuticles. This intensive balm helps relieve rough, dry, chapped skin. Next, we have a cute little harmonica with a little happy face. It kind of reminds me of the Suki stuff that Marcia and Felix have. Next, we have a product by Amika. This is the Bust Your Brass Violet Leave-In Treatment. The current price on Sephora is $25 and you get 5.3 ounces. In this, you get 1.5 fluid ounces. This is good for straight, wavy, curly, coiled, and tightly coiled hair. It is a violet pigmented, no rinse conditioning treatment that keeps blonde color bright. The key benefits counteracts harsh, brassy tone to deliver shiny, cool tone results. Weightlessly hydrates, softens, and detangles, fortifies hair with nutrients and minerals. Next, we have a little book that says let yourself go and inside it has music papers so you can write your own music down if you want to create a song in the box you also get two enamel pens and these are both music inspired also an art print done all the artwork was done again by Aaron Lewis next we have a primer by make beauty this is the moonlight primer and it is 0.13 fluid ounces and it retails on their website for $55 and on their website for $55 I believe you get one fluid ounce. The key ingredients in this product are marine algae that protects against free radicals, pollution, and heavy metals. This is not tested on animals, paraben-free, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and made in New York. Also, 10% of the sales are donated to the We See Beauty Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting women-led worker-owned businesses in at-need communities. I'll show you what a little bit of the primer looks like. It comes out black. I did not expect that, even though it said that. And... It shears out really well. So this will be interesting to give a go. Next we have a product from Paul and Joe and this is a moisturizing foundation primer. On Amazon you can get it in a few different colors that suit your skin tone. On Amazon this also retails for $28.99 but on another website that came up when I searched the product it retails for $35. This product is formulated with five natural plant extracts and three types of hyaluronic acid. This primer conditions and moisturizes the skin for a clear complexion that stays fresh and smooth all day. Glossy oil in the base and secret Dior Champagne Gold Pearl work together to create lustrous, radiant skin. Contains oil that firmly clings to the skin and foundation in addition to spherical powder that absorbs excess sebum. Three types of sodium hyaluronate and an abundance of orange flower water deeply hydrate for well-balanced, moisturized skin day in and day out. The Paul and Joe primer compared to the Moonlight primer which I have over here is a little more tacky while this one's a lot more soft once it's blended into the skin, just for comparison. So we have a product by Cargo and this is the Swimmables Eye Pencil and I have it in the shade Dorado Beach. This eye pencil retails for $18 and the description is Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Eye Pencil. Your eyes are the window to the world. Let them express your unique view with a rich color, water-resistant formula from Cargo. Add this easy-to-use pencil to your makeup essentials for beauty on the move. And I'll show it to you guys swatched. It's a nice shiny like coppery shade and let's see for blending out. It blends out fairly well. If you wanted to like smoke it out on your lower crease or so, it blends out pretty well into like a sheer shade. Next product, we have the Superfood Facial Wash by Elemis. A nourishing nutrient dense gel cleanser. This is retailed for $25 and on their website you get 150 milliliters and this is one fluid ounce in 30 fluid milliliters that we get in this sample. This refreshing gel cleanser with a nutrient dense super green complex deeply cleanses skin for radiant outdoor fresh glow. The dull skin is replaced by a radiant and fresh complexion. This is good for all skin types and it is best for a healthy fresh glow. 
Next we have two products by Ticino. We have a maca chocolate and a hazelnut. These are both teas and we have a medium roast and a dark roast. I believe in the last box we had some teas as well from this brand. I still have yet to try them, but I'm sure they're great. Next we have a sample by Hum and these are Hair Sweet Hair Growth Vegan Gummies. These are retailed for $25 on Sephora.com and you get 60 within the container. And this I believe you get two. Okay, so you take two a day, so this would be a one-time use, but you'd get an idea if you like the taste of the product. I have never actually tried Hum Beauty before for their biotin products, since this is basically a biotin product. It also has biotin, folic acid, photoy, B12 zinc and pava, but it's to help hair, skin, and nails. And it is a delicious berry flavored vegan gummy supplement with B12 to promote hair growth and health. Um, I've never tried these. I've been interested in trying Hum products before, but if you like it, I'd give it a go. Why not? Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And if you'd like to see more Martzi unboxings, just let me know if there are any other boxings you'd like to see. The Martzia box is something that I've been subscribed to for about two years now. So I just hadn't opened the last two boxes on my channel, but if you'd like to still see them, let me know. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.